Hey, what is up guys? Matt here from the Toasty Bros. And before I get into this video, I wanna let you all know we have added some new stuff to our merch store. Now I know a lot of you may not be interested in merch, but a shirt like this, talking about my morning energy live stream, is now live on the merch store at shop.spreadshirt.com slash Toasty Bros. Link will be in the description down below. So yes, you did read the title of this video correctly. GPU prices are not going to be this bad for so long, mainly because, well, there's a new change coming to the Ethereum algorithm. And since the Ethereum cryptocurrency has been one of the major players in GPU mining, this change could be really big for the GPU pricing and market as a whole. So how about I just get right into explaining it, shall we? Now the concept I'm going to be explaining is kind of complicated, and I'm going to kind of dumb it down to the most simplistic version that I can, so you all can understand it if you really don't understand the concepts of cryptocurrency algorithms. I am definitely no expert in this subject, but I've done my research and decided to present you all some info and see how it correlates to something that I am interested in, the GPU pricing market. So Ethereum, a cryptocurrency that has relied heavily on proof of work, which is a process of doing actual computation using GPU horsepower to show the blockchain verification. This is a very simplified version, but what Ethereum is gonna be doing is switching over to what is called proof of stake, which in short terms basically means people will hold their Ethereum coin, they will hold it, lock it into an account, and basically you'll be verifying these transactions by verifying that you hold cryptocurrency, specifically, Ethereum. So instead of using raw GPU horsepower to solve all these complicated problems that therefore verify the blockchain, what you're going to be doing is holding these cryptocurrencies, lock them away, and you get paid, which is basically proof of stake. You're holding Ethereum, and the more you hold, the more money you can make off holding it. In simple terms, that is. So what does this all mean for the whole cryptocurrency space? Well, this could be positive or negative. We never know. There are a lot of other cryptocurrencies out there that do use proof of stake, and they're starting to grow and become much more popular because of energy savings and just not having to require the startup power and startup money of buying a bunch of GPUs to do pure mining, which translates really easily into the whole GPU shortage because Ethereum was the main coin that reboosted this whole GPU mining craze once again. While yes, there are still coins out there that can be mined via GPU, there isn't the big name Ethereum out there that made people want to go out and buy a bunch of graphics cards. So when this switch happens to proof of stake, I could see some people selling off their GPUs and or maybe just not buying up anymore. So the purchase of these GPUs may actually go down slowly because of the drop of Ethereum. Now this isn't going to be the end all of end all of GPU mining. As mentioned before, there are other cryptocurrencies that use GPU mining. But the real future of cryptocurrency relies on these other algorithms that don't require the raw horsepower and energy. Many experts out there believe that GPU horsepower cannot be the way of the future because all the energy it requires just isn't very logical. So what does this mean for you all? Well, I could expect within the next month or two, maybe even sooner, manufacturers will be able to put out GPUs without them being totally wiped out from the shelves because with this new change to proof of stake, the big people who are out there, which a majority of them are going for Ethereum, will not be buying those GPUs. They'll be actually just holding onto the ones that they already have and or just not jumping into the space because the Ethereum mining craze will be basically over and it will mainly be just due to a bunch of different other cryptocurrencies that may get some interest from people people, but not as big as big boy Ethereum, which was the main cause in most cases for people buying GPUs to mine. So this is very good news for people out there and something that you should definitely consider and something that I haven't seen on the internet for many people. And I was talking to my stream about it and it didn't make a lot of sense to make a video about and inform you all about the topic. So I want to hear what you all think. Are you excited about this? Do you think this change actually will make a difference in the GPU market? Be sure to comment down below. I love to make these videos an open discussion, especially with a topic like this, especially when the video I made last week did really bad in terms of reaction, which I can totally understand. There are so many people who are on totally other sides of the spectrum when it comes to cryptocurrency. And if anyone even suggests getting something like that, they just won't consider it. And I totally respect that opinion. But as mentioned before, be sure to comment Ethereum in the comment section down below if you made it this far. And be sure to leave a like as well. If you're new to the channel, be sure to consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this. We're going to be bringing you a couple more PC builds coming very soon to the channel and maybe even a Hackintosh. That's something we've definitely considered doing. And be sure to consider following us on Twitter as well if you want some more behind the scenes coverage. Hope to see you all in the next video, guys. Peace out.